What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology. This is the first tutorial on Llama Index. So basically, I have completed, I believe, more than uh, 60 or 70 tutorials on LangChain. So I thought of actually starting this series on Llama Index. So basically, Llama Index and LangChain more or less similar. Both are actually um, kind of, you can call them as a language framework or LLM framework or LLM orchestration framework, which will help you to actually uh, design, develop, enhance, maintain your application in a more efficient way. Suppose you have to do some sort of data ingestion, suppose you have to do some sort of data loading, data parsing, data cleanup before you actually uh, throw your data inside your LLM. Uh, then you have to use uh, LangChain or Llama Index or similar sort of framework. Yeah, obviously there are a couple of dif uh, like differences and there are a couple of advantages and disadvantages of using Llama Index and LangChain. So you will find multiple debates, like multiple uh, like uh, videos are available on YouTube and any 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 website in the Google. So I'm not going to do with all those theoretical concept here because our ultimate objective is actually to learn each and every aspect or tools whatever is available so we are going to uh, uh, we are going to put equal uh, like um, equal effort while learning this llama index series so i'll be just going to do the same thing whatever i already did with langchain so please pay attention and try to actually cooperate with me um, while i'm uploading this uh, series from the tutorial number one hopefully if you uh, like pay attention with all the videos at the end of the series you will learn and get very uh, good amount of knowledge on uh, llama index okay so with that note i'll be just going to start the tutorial so the tutorial is very simple uh, load files from directory using llama index suppose you have a directory inside the directory you have uh, like a text file so i'll be going to show you how to load those text file and after that how to actually do some sort of question answering okay so load file from directory and the code is actually available here uh, i'm not going to uh, talk about some component oriented thing for the llama index because i did that in the langchain series and after that most of you requested for to start directly from the use cases so i'm just keeping those part and while doing this use case i'll try to actually incorporate all those components and I'll explain them and there whenever like time permits but let's start with the use case actually so how to load a text file from inside a directory using llama index that is our tutorial okay so that note let me open my vs code okay so basically i have a folder here data inside that i have a file called data.txt and i'll be going to write my code here okay so first thing first what we'll do uh, we'll be going to actually import couple of necessary libraries okay so it should be from uh, from llama index.core okay uh, we'll be going to import vector store okay vector store index and we'll be going to import simple directory simple 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 uh, simple directory data okay so basically we'll be going to create a vector index store with the help of this data inside here and before that we'll be going to use this uh, like module to load our file so basically i'll be just going to create a Okay, documents and what we'll do, we'll just write simple directory reader and inside that I'll be just going to name the directory data, right? And after that, it will be something like this load, uh, load data. Okay, so data will be loaded. So let's execute this thing. Okay, so no error. So then what we'll do, we'll be just going to uh, write this document and let's see what it is coming okay okay so it is actually going to give me uh, whatever is written inside the document that i actually get it from here okay okay so now next thing will be what now next thing will be going to actually um, uh, from this document we'll be going to create an index vector and from the index vector we'll be going to create a query engine so that we can ask some question and answer okay so that will be our next thing okay let's see okay okay so next thing we'll be going to create a vector index okay so we'll just index okay and inside the index we'll be just going to write vector index okay from documents and inside that i'll be just going to write 
documents okay that's it okay okay so now what we'll do we'll just write query engine okay okay so what i'll do uh, okay index is created let me just check whether i'm getting any error or not so basically no error will be coming all done uh, okay so it's giving me some warning that is fine okay so now what we'll do we'll be going to create q u e r y query engine okay okay so now we'll be going to create a query engine on top of this index right so we'll just write index dot as okay as query engine see it came a query engine right okay so each and every line i'll just going to execute because i'm not using jupyter notebook so i will not be able to understand which line is giving the error so that is why i'm i'm doing the uh, like uh, execution of the program multiple times so maybe you can ask me like why i'm doing this thing again and again so that is the only reason okay if you are doing it from the jupyter notebook no need to do that you can just in the jupyter notebook if you execute one line you will be rest assured that that line will not get any error in the future right so now it is done now we'll be going to ask couple of questions so response we just going to create a variable called response okay and we'll just write query engine okay dot query right and inside that we'll be going to ask some questions so we'll be going to ask like who is the uh, author here uh, uh, can you tell me his name can you tell me his name okay and after that what we'll do we'll just going to write print print response okay okay so this is done so now what will happen so this is going to give me a response okay so let's see the author is mentioned provided context information is paul graham okay so now we'll be going to ask more question uh, what is the main context of this text okay so let's ask this question i just asked some hypothetical question so let's see whether it is uh, going to give me the answer or not let's see i'll be going to ask not much question i'll be going to ask couple of question the main context of this text is that author reflecting on various experiences and decision made throughout different periods of their life including moments spent with family leaving different countries pursuing education transitioning between different career paths okay so now we'll be going to ask about some career path of the user okay from the author okay uh uh give some information on uh, the career of the author okay let's see let's see whether it is uh, going to uh, give me the answer or not let's see hopefully it will be doing so it is very simple straight forward okay so see uh, okay the author started his career by attending art school but eventually drop out to pursue painting on his own then he moved to new york city like like so and so so it is uh, amazing right i'm actually uh, amazed by the simplicity of the llama index yeah, obviously i used it uh, like um, uh, i i used it uh, like before as well but i just want you to want you guys to actually um, uh, get the feeling of this thing by trying out some very simple use case so i i believe you guys uh, if you are uh, already watching my playlist uh, on langchain from the beginning so you guys might know about the document loader question answering rag and everything right so basically loading documentation or loading documents or uh, loading text inside a vector index is very important so basically i'm just doing the same thing so you can understand in the langchain playlist i did the rag or data loading maybe after 10 or 15 tutorial but here we straight away start this thing so it means we are actually uh, moving towards more more or more more and more like uh, advanced use cases right so that is why i'm just doing this thing very fast right now so um, 
so okay so the tutorial is over i have not much to say over here i'll be just going to conclude the video now but before i conclude let me actually give some heads up about this playlist so just like lang change in this series also i'll be going to upload videos more or less aligned with uh, use cases like whatever use case we target in the company or for the client i'll try to actually find out those use cases and then i'll convert them as a simple like tutorial and i'll be going to upload the videos accordingly so that it will help you to understand and as well as it will actually help you to get future ready for your company interview for your job for your clients work or if you're working for freelance also it will be very helpful okay with that note i'll be just conclude the video over here but before i end the video i would like to request you few things guys please try to subscribe to my channel hit the like button share my videos with your family and friend and try to put some comment and let me know what are the things you find in this video uh, is valuable or what are the things you want me to actually improve or what are the use case you want me to include my video so that i will act accordingly okay with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day thank you